Hi, so here we have one more question based on height and distance problems. So the problem statement over here says, from the top of a cliff 60 meters high, the angle of depression of the top and bottom of a tower are observed to be 30 degrees and 60 degrees. Find the height of the tower, right? So suppose we have a horizontal ground, something like this. And on this ground, we have a cliff which is 60 meters tall. Suppose this is the cliff which is 60 meters tall. We have a tower. We don't know where the tower is located, but we are given the angle of depression of the top and bottom of the tower are observed to be 30 degrees and 60 degrees. So to observe or measure the angle of depression from the top of the cliff, first we have to draw a line, a horizontal line from the top of the cliff, right? So let this be that horizontal line. Then what they are saying? The angle of depression of the top of the tower is 30 degrees. That means if I draw a line in such a way that this line is 30 degrees from this horizontal line, the top of the tower will lie somewhere on this line where this angle is 30 degrees, right? That means the top of the tower will lie somewhere on this line. So at this point, we actually don't know where the tower is. But the angle of depression to the bottom of the tower will tell us where the tower actually lies. So the angle of depression to the bottom of the tower is 60 degrees. So if I draw a line which is 60 degrees, then we actually get to know that the tower, the base of the tower or the bottom of the tower is lying on this point. That means we can draw a tower over here. This is the bottom of the tower. and this will be the top of the tower and now we have to find the height of the tower. So first construction we have to do is we have to draw a line from the top of the tower to this horizontal line right and now let us name all these points. So now we have our drawing ready where this angle is the angle of depression to the bottom of the tower and this is 60 degrees. This angle is 90 degrees this angle is also 90 degrees. That means these two angles, this angle and this angle, they are also 90 degrees. And we are also provided with the height of the cliff. That means this distance AB is equal to 60 meters. So this is our drawing and what we have to find? We have to find the height of the tower and height of the tower is DC. So we have to find the value of DC and how to find it? C. Here if you see properly this ABCE is actually a rectangle. ABCE is a rectangle. So if ABCE is a rectangle then its opposite sides are equal. That means AB is equal to EC and this is equal to 60 meters and EA will also be equal to CB. So these are the two things we know and if we see ABC this triangle is a right angle triangle where this angle will be equal to 60 degrees because angle EAC is 60 degrees and ABCA is a rectangle that means EA is parallel to CB and we know if there is a transversal line between two parallel lines the alternate angles are equal that means angle EAC will be equal to angle ACB and both of them will be equal to 60 degrees right and since this angle B is a 90 degree that means ABC is a right angle triangle where AB by CB is equal to tan 60, right? The value of AB is 60 meters and we don't know the value of CB but tan 60 we know is root 3, right? So from here CB is equal to 60 by root 3 and if we multiply this by root 3 by root 3 that means 
CB is equal to 60 root 3 by 3. 3 1s are 3, 3 2s are 6 and 0. That means CB is equal to 20 root 3. That means this distance is equal to 20 root 3 and EA will also be equal to 20 root 3 because these are the two opposite sides of a rectangle. Right? So we have got the value of AB which is 60 meters and we have got the value of CB which is 20 root 3 and what we have to find? We actually have to find the value of DC where we know this whole distance EC is equal to 60 meters. Again, the two opposite sides of the rectangle, right? So if we can find the value of ED, that will also be okay for us because we can subtract the value of ED from the value of CE and find the value of DC. So how to find the value of ED? If again we see triangle AED is a right angle triangle, right? Where ED by AE is equal to tan 30, right? The value of ED we don't know but the value of AE is 20 root 3 and the value of tan 30 is 1 by root 3. So from here ED is equal to 20 root 3 by root 3 this root 3 and root 3 will cancel each other and the value of ED will be equal to 20, right? That means this tiny part is equal to 20 meters. So from here we can find the height of the tower which is DC. DC is equal to EC minus ED and EC is equal to AB which is 60 meters. So this will be equal to 60 minus 20, that is 40 meters. So height of the tower is this much, which is 40 meters. And this is what we were supposed to find. The value of DC is 40 meters and which is the height of the tower. So after this, we are going to solve few more problems based on trigonometry. So keep watching MathSmart and bye-bye till then.